Like millions of Afghans, Qari Abdul Wakil fled war in Afghanistan. Leaving in 1991, he ended up in London in 1996. A quarter of a century later, he's now a leading member of the Afghan community here. The current situation in Afghanistan is really painful for all Afghans, wherever in the world they live. This conflict has been dangerous for so long, but these recent events have really worried and saddened everyone. Qari Wakil's family escaped the Afghan civil war shortly after the Soviets left the country. This time around, it's the return of the Taliban that's causing concern, among younger generations too, many of whom were born abroad. It's been 40 years we've been hoping. Uh, we will keep hoping for our country. It's, it's our beloved Afghanistan and we love it. It's our country. We must have hope for it. Like many immigrant communities, Afghans here in London have largely ended up in a few areas of the city, such as here in Neesden, where there are numerous Afghan shops and restaurants serving up a reminder of life back home. Talking to people here in recent days, one thing they share is a real sense of concern, watching events unfold, wondering about the safety of family members back home, and after more than four decades of war, asking when the violence will end. In his shop in West London, Tawab Khan is thousands of miles away from his native Kandahar but he's surrounded by reminders of the life he left behind, providing others with the likes of Afghan rice and dried fruits. The Americans came, and in the 20 years, there was a little bit of progress. Now Western countries have left, and they've left Afghans on their own again. But people are willing to jump from planes, and their bodies fall on the floor. This is very painful for us, honestly. OK, we live in this country, this is our second home, but we haven't come here from happiness. We've come because of the cruelty of war. We request from all the international community that if you really love the humans on this earth, please help this country. Until when should people die there? It's a question that many Afghans are continuing to ask.